so for project number one, I am working on a shovel end that um, my mom had and she wanted to see if I wanted to make something out of it. And I thought, you know, this would actually be pretty cute to just kind of stuff in your garden and just with a cute saying. So I went on my Cricut and I printed out a cute little decal and I cut it out on some clear contact paper from Dollar Tree and then I just adhered it to the shovel and spray painted it in white. If you're not familiar with stencils or vinyl, sometimes when you have a, a surface that isn't completely flat, you can just cut slits in the side and just cut around the decoration and then you can lay the decal flat. Then I just filled in the cracks that I cut because I was afraid that when I spray painted I would have lines going across so I just made sure that I had an extra piece of contact paper over those sections or lines. I instantly brought it inside after I spray painted it and decided I was going to remove the contact paper while everything was still dry because I was afraid that it might pull up. I wasn't sure. I'm not familiar with using this type of surface, so I just wanted to make sure and error-proof my work. And it turned out pretty darn cute if you ask me. For project number two, I have another thing that my mother gave me to uh, DIY and I still haven't done anything with it. So here you go, mom. I'm finally done with your projects. But this pulley was literally the inspiration for the entire thing. It belonged to my grandpa and she wanted to put it on display but just didn't have any ideas on how. I went to Hobby Lobby and I found this really cute lantern but it still looked fairly new even though it had kind of a sort of lightly distressed look. It still looked really new so I decided I was going to mix some black and brown paint and kind of try to get as close to the color of that hook on the pulley as I could and then I decided to age up this lantern a bit. After that, it was looking pretty good, a little bit aged, but it wasn't quite there yet. I did have a little bit of rust on the hooks of the pulley, so I decided to once again mix some paint. And in this time, I mixed orange and brown just to try to get a feel for the color. I just kind of color matched it as I mixed the paint and decided to add a little bit of rust to the edges and so forth. In some of the parts of the video it's not super clear but basically I just went to every single little edge or lip or where you can't really see on some of the parts of this lantern it's really cool because you can see where the metal is folded over and I basically all those edges I just added this paint and it did in fact actually look rusty like rusty and I think this is actually the closest I've ever come to an actual rusty looking color pretty proud of myself because it always ends up looking a little bit red when I try to do rust and last year I was pretty kind of upset and not not upset but irked about the the red rusty because it didn't look real and authentic and I would kind of strive for that so here I'm just taking a small paintbrush and trying to get in all the little pieces that the sponge kind of would have made a big blotch over some of the areas I just wanted a little bit
here I have some floral picks from mostly Walmart, I'm going to say. That's boxwood. I believe the little yellow pieces, those are also from Walmart. All of them are, I, bl I believe, about a dollar. Yeah, all I think all of those. And then the leaves on the end are just some leaves that I tore off of another, some some plant I've used in the past. So... I was trying to figure out how to decorate this and so normally I'm not good at flower arrangements. I am just going to throw that out there. I'm very, I'm just not good at it. So I decided I was going to try my hand at it once more because I figured that if I, if it really looked gross, then I would just not put them in there, right? So I just kind of played around and decided that I would try to use more greenery and such. I wanted to put a live plant in there. However, it it seemed a little difficult. Uh, if I can find a tiny, tiny planter that can fit in there, maybe I will be able to put a live plant in there. But for right now, I'm just going to do this. I also forgot to mention when I was done painting the plant or the lantern i did spray it with a matte finish acrylic paint it's just the rust-oleum clear coat but i did spray it once over with that to try to just preserve the paint a little bit and i think this turned out pretty good if you ask me what do you think let me know in the comments below For this next project, I'm just using one of these tiki signs, and I'm only going to use one piece of it. Um, I got this one last year. I'm not sure if they have it this year, but they do tend to have these every single year, so I'm pretty sure they have something. So I'm just removing one of the signs, and it had a light coat of glitter on it, so I'm just going to sand that off. So I'm just going over this now with a coat of Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. And I believe I had to do about two coats of this one, maybe possibly three. I had some letters from Dollar Tree and I decided to lay those out. And then I'm going to paint them in another Waverly paint. I believe I used moss. I don't think I used celery. I believe I used moss. But either will do. I lightly distressed the edges of the sign. And then I glued on the letters. This last DIY is just a quick gift that I made for my grandma and it ended up being just a really cute gift but it was so simple. So my mom had picked up this palette from Walmart, this little sign. I didn't even do anything to the sign because I thought it was perfectly distressed as it was. And then I had both of my kids paint their hands and I did their hand prints on them. I went on to uh, Cricut and I printed out a cute little sign that said grandma's garden and I painted it with a gray paint but when I took it off I will say it looked the the lettering looked a little dull so I needed to do something else to make the letters pop out so I took a black paint marker and I tried my best to do some shadowing and I think I think I did it pretty well 
Needless to say, she thought this was amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already so you can see my next upcoming videos. I'm so sorry, I've been so delayed. I feel like time just flies by and then I'm like, oh no, I need to post a video. But I'm having a lot of fun with my family and that's what's most important to me. So I hope you have a wonderful, terrific, beautiful day and thanks for watching. Bye.